hey everyone welcome to another video so in this video that we will be discussing some mcqs on the topic uh, mechanical properties of solids so let's move on to the video so coming to the first questioners the solid which break above the elastic limit are called option a brittle option b ductile option c malleable and option d elastic so now you can pause the video and think about the answer so the correct answer is option A, brittle. Moving on to the second question, out of the following, the most plastic material is option A, iron, option B, wood, option C, rubber and option D, plasticine. So you can pause the video and think about the answer. So the correct answer is option D. Moving on to the third question, the substance which show practically no elastic after effect is called option a copper option b silver option c rubber and option d quartz so the answer for this question is option d quartz so moving on to the next question two identical solid balls one of the ivory and the other of wet clay are dropped from the same height on the floor after striking the floor option a ivory ball will rise to a greater height than wet clay ball option b Ivory ball will rise to a lesser height than a wet clay ball. Option C, both balls will rise to the same height. And option D, data is insufficient. So answer for the question is option A, ivory ball will rise to the greater height than wet clay balls. Moving on to the next question. The potential energy of U of two atoms of a diatomic molecule as a function of distance R between atoms as shown in the given figure. Read the following statements carefully. One is the equilibrium separation distance between the atom is equal to R2. Option 2 is A at R is equal to R1. The force between the atom is repulsive. And 3 is 4, R is greater than R2, so the force between the atom is attractive. Which of the above statement is true? Option A, 1 only. Option B, 2 only. Option C, 3 only. And option D, 2 and 3. So the answer for the question is option B, 2 only. So moving on to the next question. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Option A, when a material is under tensile stress, the restoring forces are caused by the interatomic attraction, while under compressional stress, the restoring force is due to the interatomic repulsion. Option B, the stretching of a coil is determined by its shear mod modulus. And option C, the rubber is more elastic than steel. And option D, shearing stress plays an important role in buckling of shafts. So the answer for this question is option C, rubber is more elastic than steel. The next question, the ratio of shearing stress to the shearing strain is defined as option A, Young's modulus, option B, bulk modulus, option C, shear modulus and option D, compressibility. So the answer for the question is option C, shear modulus. Coming to the next question. A copper and a steel wire of the same diameter are connected end to end. A deforming force F is applied to this uh, composite wire which causes a long elongation of 1 cm. The two wire will have option A the same stress and strain, option B the same stress but different strain, option C the same strain but different stress and option D different strains and stress. So the answer for the question is option B the same stress but different strain. So coming to the next question, the shear stress is related to option A length, option B area, option C volume and option D shape. The answer for the question is option D shape. Coming to the next question, if the volume of wire remains constant when subjected to tensile stress, the value of poison strain of the material of the wire is option A is 0.1, option B 0.2, option C 0.4 and option D 0.5. So the answer for the question is option D, 0.5. Coming to the next question is, fluids can develop option A, longitudinal strains only, option B, longitudinal and shearing strain, option C, longitudinal shearing and volumetric strain, and option D, volumetric strains only. So the answer for this question is option D, volumetric strains only. So coming to the next question. Which of the following statement is correct regarding Poisson's ratio? Option A, it's a ratio of longitudinal strain to the lateral strain. 
option b its value is independent of the nature of the material option c it is unitless and dimensionless quantity option d the practical value of poisson's ratio lies between 0 and 1 so the answer for the question is option c it is unitless and dimensionless quantity coming to the next question if two equal and opposite deforming forces are applied parallel to the cross sectional area of the cylinder as shown in the figure there is a relative displacement between the opposite phases of the cylinder. The ratio of delta x to L is called as option A longitudinal strain, option B volumetric strain, option C shearing strain and option D poisonous strain. The answer for the question is option C that is shearing strain. Moving on to the next question, stress is a dash quantity. Option A scalar, option B vector, option C tensor and option D dimensionless. So the answer for the question is option A scalar. So stress is a scalar quantity. So coming to the next question. The breaking stress of a wire depends upon option A length of the wire, option B radius of the wire, option C material of the wire and option D shape of the cross section. So the answer for the question is option C material of the wire. So that's all about the part one of MCQs of the topic mechanical properties of solid. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for your watching.